Welcome to the garden. Today I'm starting a new experiment testing different types of soil. I'm going to be filling these grow bags with native soil, compost, and potting soil to see how they differ. We'll be planting some beans because they're really quick and easy to grow. This is just a really inexpensive potting soil and some leftovers from other pots too. You can reuse potting soil over and over again. And we'll thin these down to about two or three plants per pot. Next up, we'll do 100% compost. This does have some fresh grass in it, but that should be okay. For this next pot, we'll do a mixture of compost and native soil. I'll try and save this worm for now. The native soil is really rich in clay and sand. You can see there's rocks in there. It actually doesn't drain water very well. Because of all that clay, it can pool on the surface of the container. So by adding in some compost, we're introducing a whole bunch of organic material. This not only drains excess water, but it retains a little extra moisture too in times of drought. You can see it's also just packed with life. And here's our final mix. Now for the last one, we're just going to use plain native soil. Let me give you another look at this just to show you the quality of it. It's a lot of sand, a lot of clay. Man, look at that stuff. Boy, these pots are really nice and sturdy. Look at that. You can pick them up off the ground and they hold their shape. Once they're full, they're really strong. Notice how quickly the water absorbs. In the potting soil and the compost, it drains through very quickly, especially the compost. Look at that, it's already drained. And notice the clay, it's actually pooling water. So already, this is a great example. Look at how quickly the compost drains. It's just amazing. Potting soil is a close second. Our mixture of native soil and compost is doing fairly well and our clay still has a little bit pooling on the surface we've got a sort of a crust of mud and if that dries it can really harden up and be tough for sprouts to break through something really unexpected happened with our plants. The ones that are sprouting are the potting soil on the right and the native soil here on the left. The two that haven't sprouted have compost. So I'm thinking maybe my compost wasn't quite finished and I don't know, something is inhibiting the beans from even sprouting. I think I can see one little sprout right there. It looks like it's a couple days behind. Look at all of this new growth from the potting soil. Really beautiful stuff. <laughs> We're gonna have to thin those out. And the native soil too. And this is not really an indication on the quality of the soil because beans and really all seeds have enough energy to grow these seed leaves and probably even set out some new growth too. That's all just in the seed. You can actually see the little seed right here. It's like an egg. It has a bunch of energy packed in. For fun, let's just pop this off. <laughs> That's funny. 
Look at those roots down there. I'm gonna break up these chunks. And we are gonna have to thin these down pretty hard, so let's just pull one out. You can actually see the bean right here next to the seed leaves. And it looks like it sends the stem down, which pushes the plant up towards the sun. And then it sets out a whole bunch of roots like that, all directions. So that's the basic structure of the bean plant, and they just get bigger from here. They grow so vigorously. They'll vine upwards, they'll climb just about anything. saw a little baby bunny. But dang, I just missed it. It was definitely a baby bunny. There it is. Our little baby bunny. Hey little bunny. So sweet. <laughs> oh man. I think either the rabbits or the deer ate all the beans. <laughs> That's too bad. Well, our experiment, I think, is just about done. <laughs> Even though it didn't last to the extent I wanted it to, I think it proved some interesting points. Potting soil is probably better than you might think. Compost can be dangerous if it's not finished. The native soil can support plenty of growth, but when it's dry, it's really hard, really high in clay. It's just not the best soil. This may not have turned out like I planned, but hopefully you found this helpful. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.